Hello and welcome everyone to the anubhavtrainings.com. In this video of Anubhav Learning Series, we will start our scenario using ABA programming and see how can we start a simple ABA scenario and later on in the next subsequent videos, we'll learn how to convert that using an EMDP with boosting the performance. Now, today's session along with our scenario, we'll also look at a answer of an important question, which is can an EMDP class also have an ABAP code. Is this possible? Yes, it is possible and that's what you're going to experience in today's session. And in next session, I will show you writing the same ABAP code using a table function and AMDP. So let's go ahead and look at our scenario. As I've explained in my part one of this video series, we will be creating a ABAP report which is going to fetch all the sales orders corresponding to business partners. So let me switch over to the system to my ABAP on Eclipse environment and I will create here a simple ABAP class. Let's give the name of this class as ZCL underscore ETS. ETS being my namespace as Anubhav Trainings and I will say AMDP scenario. So we're building an end-to-end AMDP booster scenario. At the same time, I will add an interface called IF AMDP marker HDP, which is typically to make a class as ABAP managed data procedure. I will click on finish. And now, though this has an AMDP marker HDP, still I can go back and add a method which can possibly does an ABA programming. So let's go ahead and add a method. I'm going to add all my methods as static methods as part of this code. So what I will now do is I will just write one single method with an export parameter, which is going to return the list of all the sales orders which exist for all the business partners in my database table. So I will define a method now, class method. And I will call this, let's say, get sales order by business partners BP for and this is going to be using ABAP code basically so now what I will do is I will just write uh, maybe some some exporting parameter so let's say maybe I'll add a returning parameter and we'll just say ET sales orders and now I have to choose here a table type. I will give the type here, type, and I'll provide the table type. So that's a standard table type. Now, since my method implementation is missing, the system is giving me a design time error, which is fine. Let's go ahead and implement. So we use the quick fix feature of ADT and just add here the method. Now it's time that we go inside and write our logic. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I will declare an internal table for business partner and I will fetch all the business partners available in the system over here in my internal table. I call it as LT business partners where business partner role is 01 because I'm looking only for customers. As a next step, what I'm going to do is I will read all the sales orders. Into my table output table, which is uh, ET sales order. Sport returning table and then for all entries we are going to choose, of course. So let me just choose here for all entries in my LTBPA. That's my table where my buyer grid is equals to my internal table node key. Okay, and then we catch this data up in this export table. Nice. So that's a pretty simple ABAP code. Of course, in subsequent videos, I will show you how to improve the performance. But let's activate this one for now. And looks like there's an error here. Okay. Yes, so we have this problem here. This is going to be node key, correct. Save this up and activate. Done. 
And now I'm going to call this class in a method in an ABA program. Let's create an ABA program. I click say new ABA program. And we will just give a name Z A T S call MTP scenario. And I say finish. And I'm just going to call it. But at the time of calling, I will also measure the performance. Now to measure the performance, I possibly can instantiate a object of an ABAP timer class. CL ABAP runtime. Get HR timer. And then I will also just provide here a T1 timer. So get runtime. And then I'm also going to say T2. Hello timer. And get me the runtime at the end. And now inside of this, I'm going to compute my logic, which is just calling my class and getting the data out and, and printing the same to the user. So let's call our class. This is AMDP scenario. I just have one static method, get sales order by business partner, which is what gives me the data in returning. And now we are going to display this data along with the runtime my program have consumed. So we use CL demo output, right line. Total time consumed, curly braces, milliseconds. And then we are going to just compute the total time. So let's do that between ST3. It's the time between T2 minus T1. And this time is in microseconds, so I'm just going to divide by 1000. So now we are going to print our T3, time it consumes, yeah. Let's go back and now also print the result on the screen. See your demo output, display data, and I can pass my internal table. Let's pass our internal table for sales order. And I will activate this up. Yes, got activated. It's time that we execute and just measure the performance of this code, which is essentially uh, first computing all the business partners and using four all entries to get all the sales orders. Let's execute this. And you can see it's running. It took about 49 milliseconds to, to execute this. So I'm gonna note down this time. And of course, once we go to our next episode, we're gonna see how can we reduce down this time? Then what could be the good way of writing an AMDP? Of course, you will learn about whether writing an AMDP always improves your performance or is there any exception? Sometimes it may degrade also. That's something which we're going to do in our next episode. So I hope you're clear with our scenario now. So with that, it's a wrap on this session. In the next video, you can see how I write an AMDP to, to move this code, exactly the same, similar code in SQL script, and then also measure the performance there if we get an improvement or not. Yeah. So I'll see you in the next video for complete detailed training on ABAP on HANA come S4 HANA. Feel free to subscribe our course on anubautrainings.com. Have a nice day. Goodbye.